First of all, you can come up here on the uh, View tab, click on it, come over here to Presentation Views and click Slideshow. When you click Slideshow, you can see the shortcut is F5. Either one of those will begin your slideshow. Also keep in mind, down at the bottom on the frame bar here, you also have the slideshow button. Now the difference between those three, I'm talking about the button down here to begin your slideshow, the one up here on the View tab and the Presentation Views group, and the F5, is that the one down here, whatever slide that you're on, will actually start the slideshow on that slide. So for example, I'm on slide one, let me go and click on slide three. If I come down here, and it's titled Unique Paranormal Research, when I go ahead and click on this slide button down here to start it, it starts it actually on that slide that I have selected. To end this slideshow, I can just hit Escape on the keyboard and it ends it. All the others, when I click on them, when I hit F5, or I go ahead and click on Slideshow, it takes me always to the first slide. Now, instead of hitting the Escape key, you can also move your mouse around so you can see your pointer. And when in doubt, I tell my students, just go ahead and right-click and come down here and left-click on End Show, and you ended your show. Okay, some more fun shortcuts. Hit F5 to begin the show. If you want to bounce from one slide to the next, like for example I'm on slide 1, I want to go to slide 8, just go ahead and hit 8 on the keyboard and then hit enter on the keyboard and it'll take you right to slide 8. Nothing fancy happens, there's no dancing clown that says, hey look, you're going to slide 8 now, it just happens. So hit 3 on the keyboard and hit enter and it takes me to slide 3. Again, if you're doing this in the dark without much ambient light while you're giving your presentation, you're going to have a bit of a struggle there, so keep that in mind and then make sure you know what key you're hitting and then hitting enter so you can take them to the right slide. Speaking of which, if you don't have ambient light but you need to take a break or people want to write some notes down, you can always hit the W key on the keyboard and it turns your screen into white. So imagine that hitting the white wall. Everybody will get some nice little ambient light that they can go ahead and take notes. To get back into the presentation, hit your W key again. If you want to go to black, maybe you have a nice little light show going on, a few uh, glow-in-the-dark keychains you're demonstrating, go ahead and hit the B for black, and then hit B again to take you back. Now, you already know that when you right-click, you get some options here, and I want to go over the pointer options. I have a felt tip pen, ballpoint pen. Let me go ahead and go with felt tip, and then you can see my pointer changes into a little red dot, in which case I can emphasize a few points saying, dang it we're unique and just keep clicking and dragging and circling it around there. I mean you can keep clicking and dragging but that's not going to work for me. I can go ahead and right click, go down to pointer options and say I want to go back to my arrow and then I can click and go to the next slide. If I want to change the color of my felt tip I can always again right click, come down to pointer options, go down to ink color and change it to a different color wherever I want. I mean you also have ballpoint, you have highlighter which when you click on highlighter you can click and drag to highlight some of the text. I mean that's always cool. Now how do I get rid of all that? Well you can do it one of two ways. You can right click and come to your pointer options and click on the eraser or erase all the ink on the slide. When I click on the eraser I can come up here and click on my highlighter, also some of my lines here to get rid of them. You know what's easier than that if you want to get rid of all of them? Just go ahead and, and hit the letter E on the keyboard and erases everything. That's a lot better than right clicking and coming down in your presentation and going, well, hold on just a second everybody, let me go ahead and, well, where was that? And click on erase all ink on the slide. You also have some arrow options, automatic, visible, hidden. So you can hide your arrow so nobody can see it, not even you until you right click and then come down to your pointer options and go to arrow options and say, hey, let's make it automatic. Meaning that when I start using my keys and going from slide to slide or even when I use my click, the moment I go to the next slide, the arrow is going to disappear or if I just sit here and hold long enough, the arrow will fade off because I'm no longer using it until I start moving it again. Of course, when you move it enough in the lower left hand corner of your screen, you also have some arrows to go to the next slide and uh, the previous slide. You also have your felt tip pen that you can click on, come up here, change it to a highlighter, choose some ink color. I mean, that's another way of doing it. And then next you have your slide options, so instead of writing on your slide, you can go to the next slide by clicking on that slide option. Go to slide, and it's got the title on each slide, which makes it really nice. Even going to the next, the previous viewed, last viewed, click off in a blank area. Click and go to the next slide. My pointer disappears also, the lower left hand corner little icons disappear as well. A couple of shortcut keys you can use, you can hit the letter N as in Nancy to go to the next slide, the next slide. You can also hit the letter P as in Paul to go to the previous slide, previous slide. You can use your arrow keys. You have your left arrow key that will take you to the beginning. You have your right that will take you down the slides. You have your up and down arrows, of course, correspondingly up going to the beginning of your slides, down going to the end of your slide show. And what if you have some hidden slides? Let me go ahead and hit escape to end the slide show. And let's say that slide number two is going to be hidden. To hide it, if you recall in the previous training videos, just go ahead and when in doubt, right click, come down and left click on hide the slide. Now when I click on slide one, or I just hit F5, it takes me at slide one. When I click my mouse, it skips slide two altogether because it's hidden, remember? 
So if I hit the letter P and go back to the previous slide, which is my first slide, and let's see I'm at that point where I want to hit the, the hidden slide, and I know it's the next slide. Now remember, it's going to skip over it, but if I want to hit it, then hit the letter H on the keyboard, and it will reveal the next hidden slide. And there it is, our website. And then just go ahead and continue with your slide by clicking through. Hit the Escape key. See, it's still hidden. It's just that at that point, during my presentation, I wanted to say, hey, it looks like I got a good audience here. They're really responsive. Maybe I want to venture off and hit this hidden slide. But the only time I'm able to hit this hidden slide is if I'm on the slide before it. Then to reveal the next slide, just go ahead and hit the letter H. Of course, I can right-click this and left-click on Hide Slide. Now it's no longer hidden. Finally, let me go down to slide 5, and let me click on the uh, slide show option down at the bottom of the frame here. Remember, if I click on this, whatever slide I have selected, it's going to take me right to it. Let's say I'm in the middle of my slideshow, and somebody just raises their hand and says, I don't get any of this. Great, I have to start over. The shortcut for that is just holding both mouse buttons down at the same time for two or three seconds. So I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to click and hold both my left and my right mouse button down. One, one thousand, two, one thousand gives me a bong and it takes me to the beginning of my slideshow, the very first slide. So then you can go ahead and cover it all again. And then finally, if you want to know where I got some of these shortcuts from, just go ahead and hit F1 in the middle of your slideshow and voila, there it is.